David C. Driscoll is regarded as one of the world's leading authorities on African-American art. His groundbreaking exhibition in the 1970s, Two Centuries of Black American Art, was the first of its kind to showcase African-American contributions to American art. The David C. Driscoll Center at the University of Maryland preserves and celebrates these unparalleled contributions. When just decades ago, accomplishments of black artists were often overlooked. In the 50s, when I graduated, got my bachelor's and master's degree, I had not learned about one African-American artist, not one. I lived in Harlem, and all around me, those artists lived. But yet, I didn't know anything about them. The end of the Harlem Renaissance, the beginning of a new movement and modern art, there was a singular individual that was carrying that entire lesson, that entire message into the world, and that was David C. Driscoll. It's an amazing story, and I don't think it's a story that could happen ever again because so many elements converged at one point, at one time, and he was prepared for that. An artist, scholar, and collector, Dr. Driscoll has also served as the curator for Camille and Bill Cosby's collection of fine arts. He was making the, these connections um, as an educator that a lot of people weren't making, and he was doing it you know, well before um, it was, was trendy. He was buying works of art for the Cosbys before people bought black art. A true gem on campus, students, faculty, staff and visitors have access to the David C. Driscoll Center for the Study of Visual Arts and Culture of African Americans and the African Diaspora, a center unlike any other. University leaders underscore how fortunate it is that David Driscoll chose to house his library and personal papers here at the University of Maryland. I thought, well, this is where I've spent some of the happiest years of my life teaching. And I think it was absorbed by so many students from so many different places. So it just seemed like this was the right place. The center stands to collect, present, and document African-American art for future generations. At a recent opening at the Driscoll Center, leaders like College of Arts and Humanities Dean Bonnie Thornton Dill turned out to view 100 works never before seen together by Robert Blackburn. He showed that a fine artist, a printmaker, could be very successful. Some of the major artists across the color line came to him. In addition to the art gallery, special collections, guest lectures, and symposiums, visitors to the center can discover the personal archives of David Driscoll and piece together a narrative of renowned artists in American art. You're seeing correspondence and Christmas cards from Langston Hughes, a man that I grew up, you know, reading and reciting his poetry. That's the thing that, about archives that's so beautiful is that everything in each archive is unique. As the Driscoll Center continues to attract researchers from all over the world, it also stands to preserve the legacy of Dr. Driscoll, who continues his work at the University of Maryland today. It's kind of hard to predict uh, where we'll be, say, five years from now, but I would hope that we would be able to say we are still doing pioneering work. It's not just this standalone institution, it really folds into the whole of what African American history is, what American history is, and why we should think that that's important. And the Driscoll Center is so important because David really kept everybody's name alive. He really made a real sound contribution to African-American art history. It is not only a center where you study African-American art or preserve or collect, but it's a place where you celebrate African-American art.